crews here have a lot on their plate tonight. There's a storm incoming, 50,000 people without any power, and there's still no water here in Rio Dell. On top of all of that is all of the damage, and this home is an example of that. The homeowner gave us permission to be here to show you what happened during that earthquake. This massive chunk of his home fell into the front yard, but look at where it used to be. He said this instantly came down as soon as the shaking began. I woke up and then I felt a really bad shaking and then I was scared. Nine-year-old Blake Bruga scared after a 6.4 magnitude earthquake hit Humboldt County this morning. First responders say his hometown, Rio Dell, was the hardest hit. The trailer next to his sustained so much damage, rescue crews have marked it unsafe. His home was spared in comparison. I mean, there's about two and a half inches there. That, that trailer moved two and a half inches to the south and then came back. That's a minimum. I would imagine that it went more and then came back to that. Brian Richter came over and under to help. See the shims laying in front of it? Those came out. Earthquake safe. It's really not rushing to finish the repairs before another shake. Have you felt any of the aftershocks? Yes. How many do you think? Two. Aftershocks uh, like this. City manager of Rio Dell. <laughs> aftershocks also. Right after two o'clock, a strong one hit as our cameras were rolling during this press conference with Rio Dell officials and rescue teams. For them, they say the number one priority is getting water and power back on for thousands. In surveying the damage today, this home is the first time that we've seen this. So not just that yellow caution tape, but red tape that says danger. You can see this home has completely come off of its foundation. Down the street. Once I looked out the window, I didn't hear nothing because it was so loud in the house because of dishes and everything breaking and all that. So I didn't realize this until I looked out the window. And he saw this, the front part of his home that used to be mounted over his front door, now in his front yard. We're used to it, in the most part, you know. It's bad when this happens, but not much you can do after that. Clean up the mess and hope the next time it don't <laughs> happen again. And tonight you can see this family has their generator running. They have a little bit of light and a little bit of heat, but they still have this massive chunk of housing and roofing that is just sitting in their front yard. Tonight, law enforcement also say they're really concerned about looky-loos and people who maybe want to take advantage of the situation. So we have seen increased law enforcement presence, making sure that no one is trying to get into any of these homes. In Rio Del, Brittany Hope, KCRA 3 News.